mother in the country. Shel Fowler. Susan Tully. Susan, today's your first day back on the East Enders set after a holiday in Antigua. Is yes, that where you are, yeah? yeah? You don't look very brown. Well, I'm very pale, so I was very careful not to burn. And also, um, they put a lot of sort of whitey makeup on me. Did they? Yeah. I mean, you are allowed to get brown, but just as long as they sort of... But wouldn't it... It, it would throw out the old storyline a bit if suddenly you haven't given birth. <laughs> You're suddenly as brown as a berry. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to watch well, it, Well, that's why they whiten me down a bit. Yeah. You started your TV career age nine, doing my job, didn't you, with yeah, the I've sort got, of questions I asked? Yeah, really. I, I presented a Saturday morning show, along with um, four or five others, like yeah. young people. Um, that was great fun. We, uh, it was the first show for, for kids, presented by kids. Mm. I was only nine when I did that, it's my first job. But it was all like a game to me, I mean, I didn't take it seriously. I can't remember a lot about it. What did you ask the celebrities? Oh, well, for the first six shows, I used to write a list of questions and ask everyone the same questions. Um, the only one I can remember was, uh, I used to ask them if they ever had any disasters, straight away. The first question I asked yeah. them was that, and like, the look on their faces, like, how am I going to get out of this? But uh, they always sort of managed to get around it. Yeah, we had um, a member of the cast of Grange Hill on last week, the boxer. Lee. 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 Oh, Lee. Samo. Yeah. Yeah. Now, before you joined, he wanted to be in EastEnders, and I suppose you're his idol, because before you joined EastEnders, you were on Grange Hill for yeah. four years. Did that, did you enjoy that experience? Oh, I did, I loved it. I mean, me and Lee are still good mates because like, we work in the same building at L Street. Yeah. But um, I had great fun doing that, made a lot of mates. Uh, I mean, it was, it was like an extension of school after a while. Yeah. You know, because I used to go to school, proper school in the morning and then go back to work in the afternoon. Um, but I learned a lot doing that, made a load of friends and learned a lot about the sort of technical side. Did you learn any, anything, any O levels or anything? Because it can't be easy to combine a, an acting career with a school career. Yeah, well, they did suffer. I mean, I was quite brainy at what, one the point. Acting, the... No, the, the, the O levels. Oh, I see. They did suffer. I was quite, um, I was brainy. I was sort of heading for nine O levels at one point. But because I was only at school half the time, I sort of had to halve them. Mm. Um, but I don't regret that because I feel, I've, you know, I, I learned a lot at school. You've got a terrific career anyway. Well, I've been lucky. Stretching out for years. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, touch wood. Do you identify at all with Michelle and EastEnders? This, yeah, the situation she's been in, apart from the pregnancy, um, <laughs> <it's like laughs> um, my Arthur in it is, was unemployed um, and is now, and my dad was out of work for a year, so I know what my unemployment, can, how it can affect a family. Um, and also, I've got a six-year-old sister, so I know what like, a new addition to the family is like. So those, I had those two situations to do in EastEnders right at the beginning. And those two experiences in my life were very new to me, so it's like, you know, quite uncanny that I had to sort of be playing them both. But as far as um, my character, actually, Michelle and me are concerned, I, I don't really think there's that many similarities. Because, I mean, my, when I was at school, very similar. Mm. Because uh, I was, I, I'm very similar to Michelle. I was like run of the mill, like you know, dressing like everyone else, same sort of music, didn't sort of stick out like a sore thumb. She's very typical, very run of the mill. Yeah, you, the accent. Is your own, is it? Oh, you, yeah. didn't, you didn't have to change it at all. No, I didn't. Because it's a uh, very broad London accent, isn't it? Well, yeah. I, I, I can, if someone bends my arm, I can put on a standard English accent. Can I you? had to do that. I, I did a theatre play um, two years ago, and I had to do that. So, and ne when I nearly finished that, I went for the audition for Grange, um, Grange Hill, Three Stenders. Okay. I always get those mixed up. Um, and I, after the audition finished, probably, Julia probably won't remember this, she said, um, you can do a Cockney accent. And I sort of went, what? I didn't realise that, because after sort of six weeks of... You were talking a bit like that, were you? Not quite, not quite, but I sort of dot my eyes and crossed my T's a little bit more. Yeah. It's a great <laughs> accent, that. Too, very broad. You come from, yeah, from come the from, East End yourself. Well, no, not, the, not the East End. I'm sort of like a North London Cockney. I come from Highbury. Yeah. Near the Arsenal. You're a great <laughs> Arsenal fan, aren't you? Am I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be waiting to see how Charlie Nicholas does for Scotland later on. Yeah, well, he's gone to Liverpool now, hasn't he? Oh, he has. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> hard to keep track, isn't it, really? I mean, you can't keep track of managers, let alone players. Yeah, right. Now, Michelle's long-awaited birth, it seems as if that was going on for years. Now, Felt like finally it. arrived, yeah. Did you really feel it at one stage you were really carrying a child? When the cushion was out here, yes, <laughs> it was, um, because it was great in the beginning, the padding and stuff, because it kept me warm while I was filming outside. But when it was getting a little bit, like, bigger, I felt like a right front, sort of. 
But um, to get rid of the lump, it was nice. Was that scene that you had to play with Dan when he came in, looked at the baby, was that difficult to play? No, it weren't difficult because um, the day before and I, I did, I'd given birth, I did the birth scene, and I very, that was very emotional, I was very sort of wound up about it all. Did you get emotional yourself? I mean, can you oh, turn on tears easily? I can. I can do that. I, I, I find it very easy to cry, but I find it very, very hard to laugh. I mean, Misha don't laugh a lot anyway. No, she don't, she don't does she? But, um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I, people like Tisha, um, one case Sharon, can laugh just like that. But if I try and do that, it just sounds so false. Mm. But to turn on the tears isn't that hard Need for me. piece of cake. Let's have a look at the, a little clip of when Den comes in to see his child. Correct. So tiny, and her feet, you've got to see her feet. She gorgeous. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Shil, um, uh, have you got a name for her yet? Vicky. Hey. It's all right, it's not after the Vic. Um, my granddad was Albert, so, uh, Albert Victoria. <laughs> Don't come here again, will you, Den? No, I just wanted to see her all right and check her out, eh? Check you out before I have to hand you back for good, eh? You're fighting back the tears there, eh? <laughs> you never feel the urge to burst into laughter? when you get in the middle not, of a scene like that. I'm not doing a scene like that. Come on, Mr. Jones.